Good morning, class. I hope everyone had a great afternoon yesterday. Um, before we get started with today's lesson, I would like for everyone to go get their Chromebooks, open them up, and I want everyone to log on to their Padlet. Um, please use the link that I have provided for you on the board to get into your Padlet. Once you log into your Padlet, you will see that I have a discussion for us to talk about today. So today the discussion topic is, what is your favorite type of food? I really haven't asked you guys this question and I would like to know what you guys really enjoy um, to eat. One of my favorite foods is chicken alfredo. Every time I'm at a restaurant, I try to get chicken alfredo because it's my favorite. So I'm going to give you guys just a few minutes to um, answer my discussion question. And then I will go over those at the end of the class. And tomorrow I will post a different Padlet discussion for us. Okay, so now that the bell has rang and it is time to start classes, um, is everybody here? Okay, great, so everyone is here. So can anyone tell me what we really talked about yesterday in class? Yes, Elizabeth. That's right, we talked about good reading comprehension um, a lot of you guys really didn't know what the word um, comprehend meant. Do you guys know what it means now? Yes, to understand something, to interpret something. Um, so can someone tell me why it's important for us to have good reading comprehension? That's correct. Um, it's important that we have good reading comprehension because we need to comprehend what we're reading. We need to understand what we're reading. We need to understand um, what the author is trying to tell us, what the author's um, point that they are trying to get across. It's If we can't really comprehend what we're reading, um, we're just going to kind of not really pay attention to the story and not really gain much knowledge and information um, as we need to. So we really discussed about reading comprehension yesterday because it is one of the most important parts of good reading skills. So today class, what we're going to talk about is character traits. Now how many of you guys think you know what I mean by character traits? Yeah, maybe it's how someone acts. Maybe it describes someone. Um, so we're gonna we're going to really discuss and talk about character traits. Um, I really want us to understand character traits. So we're gonna be talking about this um, for a few days, and we're gonna be doing a lot of activities for um, character traits. Can someone tell me why it's important to learn about character traits? Yes, it, it, it helps us to um, find out who someone is. If we have a character in our story and we really just find all these clues and their character traits about that character, it can help us make a connection with the character. It can help us um, see why the character may act like that. Or, you know, if the character is nice, maybe the author states some reasons of why the character is nice. Or vice versa, if the character is mean, maybe we see why the character is mean. So character traits, um, they identify how a person behaves, um, their attitude, how they act. Um, so today, class, we will be identifying character traits in our story. I will read a story, and we're going to talk about the character traits of our main character today. So once I am done um, reading you this story, we're going to have a little class discussion about the story and um, what type of character traits that our main character had, okay? So what I would like for you 
you guys to do is to find a partner and you guys need to get in groups of two. Um, I would like for you guys to read this story and take turns reading it. And we're going to um, do this in groups and you guys are going to take turns reading one person reading one page, the other one reading the next page, and so forth. Um, and I'm going to walk around the classroom as you guys are reading in your groups just to make sure everyone's following along and paying attention, okay? So you guys get in your groups of two. Um, the story that we're reading today is called The Recess Queen. Um, so now that everyone has this story in front of them, let's, let's predict what we think is going to happen in this story. So based on the cover of the book, can anyone make some predictions about what they think is going to happen in this story? Does she look nice? She doesn't look really nice, does she? Um, maybe she's mad about something. Maybe she um, doesn't like recess. Maybe she loves recess. What do you guys think? Maybe she's mean to other kids at recess. Yeah, that could be a great possibility. So what I want you guys to do is um, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to read your stories. And then I'm going to pull this story up on my smart board. And we're going to listen to a read aloud of the story. And then we're going to have a class discussion. Okay? Okay, class, now that we have all read um, the story with our partner, I'm going to pull this up on my smart board and we're going to listen to it. So you guys are more than welcome to come sit on the carpet and I'm going to show us the story of the recess queen, okay? In by Alexis O'Neill and Laura Haliskovi. The Recess Queen by Alexis O'Neill and Laura Haliskovi. Mean Jean was Recess Queen and nobody said any different. Nobody swung until Mean Jean swung. Nobody kicked until Mean Jean kicked. Nobody bounced until Mean Jean bounced. If kids ever crossed her, she'd push them and smush them, lava pollution, them, hammer them, slam them, kits and pajama them. Say what? Mean Jean growled. Say who? Mean Jean howled. Say you. Just who do you think you're talking to? Mean Jean always got her way. Until one day, a new kid came to school. Katie Sue. A teeny kid. A tiny kid. A kid you might scare with a jump and a boo. But when the recess bell went ringity ring, this kid ran zingity zing for the playground gate. Katie Sue swung before Mean Jean swung. Katie Sue kicked before Mean Jean kicked. Katie Sue bounced before Mean Jean bounced. The kid you might scare with a jump and a boo was too new to know about Mean Jean, the recess queen. Well, Mean Jean bullied through the playground crowd. Like always, she pushed kids and smushed kids, lala pollushed kids, hammered them, slammered them, kits and kajammered them as she charged after that Katie Sue. Say what, she growled. Say who, she howled. Say you, she snarled and grabbed Katie Sue by the collar. Nobody swings until Queen Jean swings. Nobody kicks until Queen Jean kicks. Nobody bounces until Queen Jean bounces. And she figured that would set the record straight. She figured wrong. Katie Sue talked back. Just as sassy as could be, she said, How did you get so bossy? Then that puny thing, that loony thing, grabbed the ball and bounced away. 
Ugh, Katie Sue was one quick kid. She bolted quick as lightning. Bouncity, bouncity, bounce. Kickity, kickity, kick. Swingity, swingity, swing. Mean Jean thundered close behind. Bouncity, kickity, swingity. The recess queen was not amused. She raced and chased and in your face that Katie Sue. No one spoke. No one moved. No one breathed. Then from her pack pulled Katie Sue, a jump rope clean and bright. Hey, Jeannie Beanie, sang Katie Sue. Let's try this jump rope out. Here's one thing true. Until that day, no one dared ask Mean Jean to play. But that Katie Sue just hopped and jumped and skipped away. I like ice cream. I like tea. I want Jean to jump with me. Jean just gaped and stared as if too scared to move at all. So Katie Sue sang once more. I like popcorn. I like tea. I want Jean to jump with me. Then from the side, a kid called out, Go, Jean, go! And too surprised to even shout, Jean jumped in with Katie Sue. I like cookies. I like tea. I want you to jump with me. The rope whizzed and slapped. Faster, faster, the rope spun and flapped. Faster, faster, till it caught in a tangled disaster. But they just giggled and jumped again. Well, now when recess rolls around, that playground's one great place. At the school bell's ringity ring, those two girls race zingity zing out the classroom door. Jean doesn't push kids and smush kids, lollapalooze kids, hammer em, slam em, kits and kajammer em because she's having too much fun rompity romping with her friends. Bouncity, kickity, swingity, hoppity, skippity, jumpity, ringity, zingity, yes. Don't be a bully. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe. Okay, so how many of you guys really enjoyed that story? Yeah, at first, um... Was it Miss Jean? Wasn't she kind of a bully? Yes, and she is the what? She's the recess queen. Um, so while we were reading that story, was she a nice character? No. Um, based on her actions at the playground um, during recess, she seemed like she was kind of mean, right? Yeah, it, what did it say? It said she would kids take things from kids um she just wasn't nice but did she have any friends it doesn't seem like she had any friends so do you think maybe she was just mean because she just wanted a friend maybe um so based on us reading that story did you guys find her nice what was her character like I want to hear um, what you guys think Miss Jean's character was like based on the Recess Queen. No, we don't think she's nice or sweet. And why don't we think that? Yes, based on her actions and the way she acted on the playground, we saw that she was not nice, was she? Um, so her character in this story was the total opposite of nice and friendly. But at the end, did she change? Yeah, she changed and she made a friend. And so it said at recess, it's time of laughter and joy. And um, she really likes recess now. So what I want you guys to do is go back to your desk. And I want you um, to draw a semantic map. So remember, you're going to have one bubble in the middle. You're going to do four lines. And then you're going to have four bubbles all on top of those lines. So to understand characters in our stories we read, we must be able to identify their character traits. But first, can you think of some character traits you have or your classmates have? So what are some character traits you think you might have? Funny. Smart, outgoing. Yeah, those are all character traits. Um, character traits describe the behavior or attitudes of a person. So, um, 
it's really important that we know the character traits of our characters because it kind of helps us get, get a better perspective of our character and maybe why they have those character traits. We saw that Miss Jean had these mean character traits because of her actions on the playground, right? Yeah. So now that you have your semantic map, I want you to write in the middle the recess queen, which is Miss Jean. So you're going to use your semantic map and really think of what character traits she had. Was she nice, smart, funny, mean? Once you identify your four character traits, you will need to write a paragraph on each one and tell me why you thought the character had that specific trait. Once you are done brainstorming, log on to your kid blog and make a post about this class discussion. Make sure in your post you are adding a new header and editing all your features the way you want it to look. Once you are finished, reply to two different classmates. After everyone is finished, I will pull up all the blog posts and we will go over them as a class. So remember, once you have filled in all of your bubbles, you're going to write a paragraph of each character trait. And the reason I have you do that is so I know why you chose that character trait, okay? So you're not going to be able to just write down, um, you know, things that didn't happen. Like she was funny. I don't think she was ever funny in the story. So be sure you're saying accurate things about her and that you can back up why you chose that character trait, okay? And we will pass around the books, um, and you guys can flip through the pages. You are more than welcome to reread this story to see what character traits you felt like Miss Jean had. And as you heard, I mentioned when you make your blog post, you need to be adding a header, and you need to be creating um, just some pretty designs and colors for your post. I want you guys to be creative, um, some of you have not been doing that. Um, with our blog post, we can we can make them as pretty as we want. And um, so it's really important that you take the time to make your blog post look really cute or cool, however you want it to look. So just be really creative with that. So once you have made your blog post, um, you need to reply to two different classmates. And I want you guys to type 50 to 100 words. Remember, at the bottom of your screen, it will tell you how many words you have. Um, and the reason I want you guys to do this is because you will gain a lot more new information and knowledge from our story based on what your classmates said. They may have listed four character traits you didn't even think about, okay? So once everyone is finished, uh, we may not finish this all today. This may take us tomorrow, too. I'm going to pull up everyone's post on my smart board and you guys are going to read them out loud and go over them and tell the class why you chose those four character traits. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about um, before you guys start on this is we are going to make a PowerPoint. This is going to be our big project and this is going to take us until Friday to finish. So in this PowerPoint project, um, you are going to take the four character traits that you have on your semantic map, and you are going to use those and make a character interview using Miss Jean from our story. So usually, have you guys ever seen um, an interview on TV? Yeah, so the reporter is asking a lot of questions. They're getting as much information as they can about the characters. That's what I want you guys to do. So you guys are going to have five PowerPoint slides. Four of those slides will be the character traits that you chose. And the last PowerPoint slide is going to be a summary of the character Miss Jean using your character traits. You're going to write a summary about her character. Okay? When you are making your PowerPoint, I really want you guys to be creative. I'm not really going to um be specific on the guidelines for this because I want you guys to be very creative add whatever type of font you want add whatever shapes pictures 
um, colors. Just be very creative. Make it however you want and um, just have fun with it. So like I said, this is going to take us until Friday to complete. And each day in class, we're going to spend some time on it. And I'm going to walk around and just make sure everyone's doing it correctly. And if you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to help me. I'm more than welcome to help you. Okay? All right, guys. So that's all I have for today. Be sure you get started on your semantic map and start typing on your kid blogs. And you can have them done pretty soon. Once you're done with all of that, you can get started on your PowerPoint project, okay? All right.